Hi, this is iPad Tutorial Dudes, and today I'm going to show you how to get a colored keyboard. This is for iOS 4 or higher firmware, and I'm sorry this will not work for iPad. So, we're going to start off by going to a source. I'm right now I'm using the Insanely iSource. I'll have a the, you can use this or the iHex repo or the Excel i sources, and you're going to go to where it says color keyboard. And you're gonna in one install it. Now, um, the nice thing about this is that you can customize some of your own themes. Um, it tells you how to do that in the description, or it has a link to it in the description. So I'm just gonna show you some of the settings for it. So you're gonna install it. And confirm. Now this will slow down your iPad a little bit, so if you're running on an older device and you don't need a colored keyboard um you don't you you might not need to use this but if you have a f new device like fourth gen then this is or fifth gen when it comes out it's definitely a, f a cool thing to have so it might take a little bit to download cuz it's just about 5 megabytes okay so here it's installing it now Now you need to respring your device after installing. Okay, so right here, just click on the Reset Springboard. Okay, so after you're done, you're going to go into your settings. And you're going to scroll down to where it says Color Keyboard. So here, you're going to see your different themes. So you can select one of the themes. There are a couple other themes available in the CD store, but these are pretty much all of them. So let's say I select the black and blue theme. Now uh, you can select a pop-up key. These are different. Um, here I'll show you what they look like better. So uh, I'm at a. Now we're gonna do the customized backgrounds. Now these is if you have um some customizable customizable backgrounds, but we don't. And border radius. This is how much pixels are in the edge of your keyboard and that's pretty much all there is to it so after you do that make sure it's enabled so you choose your theme your pop-up keys and you're gonna say save and now we're gonna need a respring and then we can see our colored keyboard okay so now I'm just gonna show you we're gonna go into the note so this is what the keyboard looks like now you can see it has a cool theme and this is what the pop-up key is if you hold it down, this is the matte finish. So th that's what that pop-up key thing means. And there are a whole, whole bunch of different kinds of themes you can try. As you can see, if you double tap it for the caps lock, it even changes the color of the shift key. So it's a, there's a lot of cool features with that. So if you have a capitalized, you can see that. And um, obviously those are the numbers, and it still has the same keyboard. As you can see, it even still has emojis, and you can still see it actually has a different theme for that, too, on the bottom, which is pretty nice. So, yeah, that's how to get the color keyboard. Now, there are all kinds of different themes you can try out. I encourage you to try a bunch of different ones, and you can pick your favorite. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, and comment.